Hi, this is Maria. And this is Monica. And we're here in Tower Grove on a beautiful Memorial Day today um, with the annual Attitudes Bar annual picnic. And Maria, could you tell us a little bit about this picnic? I understand it's a picnic that goes on every year. Uh, several women, uh, lesbians, bisexuals, gather here and celebrate and uh, celebrate their personality, their individuality, and uh, we're going to go talk to them and uh, see what it's all about. And here we are with Pat, a newcomer to the Attitudes Annual Picnic. Hi, Pat. Hi. Um, and we would like for you to enlighten St. Louis for us and tell us what's so good about lesbianism. What's so good about it? Lesbianism. Well, I'm not a lesbian. Hi, I'm, I'm here with Laura. And uh, Laura is going to tell us why, lesbian is, uh, why lesbianism is so good. It tastes really fine. Nice and juicy and wet and hot. And we love it. We love each other. We love how we look. We love how we act. We love how we feel. It's fine, mighty fine. Try it sometime. I'm here with Cecilia today. Hi, Cecilia. Hi. Um, I would like for you to inform us about what's so good about lesbianism. Oh, it's just being really free as a woman to be who you are, to do what you want, to love who you want to love. I mean, this, I don't think you can get more free than that, you know? It's mesh, and meshing with your own gender really well and getting to know somebody. I love it. I don't want to be anything else. You know, I'm beginning to wonder. Soft white flesh intermingling on the satin sheets, the softest, the softest touch known to man. And there we are together, us two. Hmm. Well, uh, back to the show. Well, people ask me what I think of lesbians. Well, I think, on the whole, they're pretty good. Can you tell us and enlighten the whole St. Louis area, what's so good about lesbianism? Um, it's a lifestyle that's uh, quite comfortable for those of us that are. Um, it's, it's better than, uh, well, I don't know. Who are we talking to? I'm Belinda Scott. Belinda, I want to ask you, we're doing a little survey here. Okay. What do you think about nuns? Nuns? Right. They don't want none, they ain't going to get none. <laughs> No, no, no. Do you think there's a lot of lesbianism going on in those convents? I guess there's not that many people in the convents anymore, but do you think there's, I mean, I, I was, honestly believe there is, but, you know. How about, like, this trip, like this Mother Superior? It's like an S&M thing, you know, Mother Superior? <laughs> yeah, I have to agree you know, with you. Could you it kind of makes you wonder. Doesn't that, you know, doesn't that kind of give you a little, you know, a little inkling of what's going on? Sure, sure. Mother I Superior? Not only that, but you got all the women living together. You're going to tell me they don't have no sexual attraction? <laughs> Come on. Hell, even us lesbians have that. I bet that's true. Look at that. That woman is chewing corn. But if she was in my house, she'd be chewing something else. And I wonder where that corn cob is going to go after she finishes eating it. That's the way things are. Some women like real men, and some people like corn cobs. What do you think about lesbian couples having children? I think more power to them. I'm planning on it. Ladies. Can I, can I ask you ladies a question? I sure did. What's up? So what's this all about? This is about revenge on Mo. Oh, wow. got, Mo got me with a squirt gun. We're getting Mo. Oh, well, well, while you're, Mo. While you're pan, while you're pantsing her. Well, How many was? So what did Mo do? No. Why did you? Do, why did she do this to you? She love you. My girlfriend paid her. Squirt me with a squirt gun. <laughs> now I'm getting my revenge. How about at work? Do you uh, are you a victim of uh, sexual harassment at work much? No, I'm usually the one that instigates it. Who, who, who you is? Who you harassing? I don't ever tell anybody, but I like to watch all the secretaries go up the steps in front of me in their tight skirts and their pumps. So and do we, I. Oh, and they are just so cute. And you know these women? They have no idea I'm looking at their ass, and I am having the best time. 
Uh, there's a girl behind me. She's getting her ass rubbed, and uh, she's laying on the blanket. I think this is an intimate moment. I think they ought to take it home, get a room. Uh, I can't understand why they would do something like that out in the open. But then again, maybe here, this is the place for it. I wouldn't know. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Excuse me, my friend Pete over here, he's being really obnoxious. He wants to ask a bunch of filthy questions. What Would you mind? You know Pete? Nope. Okay. It sounds like you know him. You got anything to say? No. Say whatever you no. want about him. This show sucks. No, what thank else? you. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> you want to call I him think any he names? sucks, too, because he's degrading to women, and I don't like him. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate your comment. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Why would somebody think that? She doesn't like you. Why would somebody think that? Hey, let me ask you something. What would you rather have? I, mean, I, I can tell you pet lovers. Do you like pups or pusses better? <laughs> There's no comparison. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No comparison. No, would you like pups or pusses? Pups or pusses? <laughs> well, we have two pussies and one pup, so if that tells you anything, there you have it. And here we have that wild Sodom and Gomorrah lesbian love. It's wild. It's uncontrolled. It's wanton. Nothing could stop it. How come I can't give them a home? That's amazing. Oh, they're breaking up now just for some air. But they'll be back at it. You're cute. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Joanna. <laughs> Is there anything else that you would like to say while you have your hand on my ass? <laughs> no, no, it's on your back. Short skirt. Yes. My best friend in college. I'm there a week in college. Yes. I, I was always against homosexuality, whatever. Okay. My roommate, my best friend, whatever. We're studying. Yes. Takes her shirt off, turns the lights off, lays down next to me and goes, So what are you going to do? I'm like, Whatever. It worked. You know, there's a lot of lesbians here. Oh, no kidding. But if they spent the night with me, they wouldn't be lesbians long. Hey, how you doing? I gotta ask you a question. Hey, what, do you, what do you think about those uh, women in prison movies? You know those women in, in I prison? I collect their videos. What do you think about Do you think there's a lot of lesbianism going on in women's prisons? Yes. Unfortunately, I have not committed any crimes, but I would love to. Would you like to commit a crime, be locked up, so you could be with a whole... You know, you ever know in, in the movies on television, the women's, women in prison movies, that all the girls in prison are exceptionally beautiful? Yes. Did you see the one with Wendy Williams in, in leather? Okay, you know, this is Memorial Day, a very, very, very historic day in the country. And um, I imagine throughout the history there was probably some very heroic lesbians that helped turn the tide to the United States. Can you name some? Is Joan of Arc appropriate? Or she's an American? <laughs> no, Joan of Arc is awesome. There must have been some valiant lesbian women fighting. Bonnie. Okay, we're going to send this tape to Janice Reno. America, Janice Reno. Who's that? America's number one lesbian, Janet Reno. Do you know who that is? Janet Reno, America's number one lesbian. No clue. Now, would you like, do you like to give a message to Janet Reno, America's number one lesbian? Don't know who it is. She's a, this is the uh, Attorney General. Oh, hey, I know who that is. You know that, 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 there you go, girl. She is America's number one, number one lesbian, Janet Reno.